Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to add this rain effect onto any photo you want. This is the uh, original photo. This is what um, I'm going to show you how to do this. So what you first want to do is you want to create a new layer right here. And for Max, I'm not sure what it, what it is for PC, but for Max, what you have to do is you have to press Alt and Delete. And you have to make sure the this is black here, so it gives you a black screen. The next thing you want to do is you have to go to Filter. Then you have to go to Noise and Add Noise. So I've already done... I've already added the effects to it, so you have to change this to 25, and you have to add, for distribution, it has to not be on uniform, it has to be on the bottom one, and then it has to be on monochromatic, or else it'll be d different colors. Um, so that's about right. The next thing you want to do is you want to go to Edit, and then you want to go to Transform and Scale. So up here, there will be a width and height you want to height you want to change both of them to 400 and when you do that it'll just be easier to work with so that it looks more realistic the next thing you want to do is you want to go to layer 1 and you want to convert to a smart object then next to opacity right here and uh, above lock right here there will be a tab that says normal you want to open the tab and go all the way to screen so then it does that the next thing you want to do is you want to go to filter blur and motion blur so I have already done it so you want to see it already changed so this one has to be 65 and you can choose any distance that you want, but it has to be, it can't be 21, or it definitely cannot be one, or else it'll look like that. So uh, I'd say it has to be about over 100. Uh, I'm going to do 144. And one of the last things you want to do is you want to go to Adjustments right here, and you want to click Levels. And you want to do this for both photos, which is Layer 1 and levels one so what you want to, this, this will just make it kind of brighter so you don't want it to be too bright and I'm gonna make mine 239 and darkness will add a bit in the back um, I like 16 then you want to do that for this one too you just want to go back to levels again and you just change it up to the, the way you want it to be I don't really like that that much it's better <laughs> And that is basically how you do it.